Hello everybody, this is Babel Halo with the Saints Games, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own kit for Maze Runner. So here we go. So all you have to do is go to mcpvp.com website, and then you scroll down to the bottom, and you will see Maze Runner. Simply either click on the picture or click on Maze Runner here. It'll take you to the Maze Runner homepage, and then you just have to scroll down, and also make sure that you're logged in on the website. But then all you do is scroll down, and it'll show you the design your kit build your own maze runner kit area just click on start building your own kit and it'll take you to this page where you can build and design your own maze runner kit so all you have to do is scroll down and it'll show you all the kit configurations you've designed you've designed or if you haven't designed any this will be blank and then all you have to do is click on create a new kit configuration and it'll take you to the kit design page now this page is really awesome because there are tons of attributes that you can choose from and they all do different things so you've got things for resources things that help the princess things that'll help you with getting items from chess and things against grievers and things that'll just help you like give you extra damage that you do and just a ton of different attributes that literally create thousands of possible kit combinations and it's awesome because there's literally tons of kit combinations you can do using these various abilities and if you look up at the top it'll basically you can select an attribute that you want and you have up to 100 ability points that you can use to design your kit so once you reach 100 you can't add any more to your kit. So you've got 100 kit ability points that you can add. And all you have to do is hover over whatever you want. Like, let's say I want this. And you can hover over the question mark and it'll tell you what it says. So this is, let's say, damage 2. Greatly increase the damage from your attacks by 40%. So let's say I'm like, okay, that's really cool. I want to be able to damage people more. So I drag that over here and I let it go and it'll add it to my kit configuration. And it'll show me that I have 20 points remaining because this costs 80 points. And so damage two is in. And then if I want, I can add like health one and I could do that. And then all I have to do is add in whatever name I want. So let's call this the killer kit. And I could leave that like that and then save it if I wanted to. Um, and if I don't like it, I can just click the trash can icons and it'll get rid of those abilities. So as you notice, every time I add something, it'll gray out certain abilities that cost too much. So if, I, if I'm if i over a certain number of points, that so like I added fire resistance, so I can't add speed too, because that would take me over 100 points. So it grays that out, so I know I can't choose that, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's say I want to design a kit. So let me go down. You know what? I like... Let's go with, oh, here we go. We've got pointy two. Greatly increase the chance of finding weapons, heavy weapons in chests. That sounds cool. Let's add that. Uh, what else do we want to add? Let's add, ooh, Bowser one. Increase the damage done, uh, done to the princess. So it lets you kill princesses quicker. That's cool. That'll help me kill other enemy princesses a lot quicker. Okay, what else do I want to add? Let's see. Uh, well, we got stuff up here. We got quiver supply. Oh, what's this? We've got decoy chests. Uh, three decoy chests that will explode when someone opens them. That sounds really cool. That'll help me with, like, if I want to make traps and whatnot. Uh, we got glade compass. A compass that always points to your glade to help you find your way back home, basically. So this is really cool, too. I like this. So here we go. I'm going to call this the trapper kit. So I'm going to say, actually... Let's call this the, we'll just stick with killer, why not? This will be the killer kit. Even though it's not really a killer ideal kit, we'll just call it that. So anyway, so we have the killer kit and I'm gonna click save design and then I click okay. And this will take me back to the blueprint page and this will show me the design. So here's my killer kit that I just designed. Now an important thing to know, if something is on the kit design page, you cannot use it in game automatically so like if it looks like this it'll show you buy kit gift kit or add it to slot so this kit even though i've designed this kit i can't use it in game yet i have to either buy it or add it to slot and if i want a friend to use it i can gift it to a friend so that they can use it so you could actually design a whole team like design four kits and then you could 
show them to your friends by clicking the share and then linking them to your friends and giving the link to your friends so they can see the kit and design it themselves or add this kit to their library so they can use it if you want to share your kits around and create like your own team basically. But anyway, so you can either buy the kit, so if you want to buy it for 250 credits, gift it, or if you are a VIP, an MVP, or a pro, you have a certain number of kit slots that you can use. So if I add it to a slot, just by clicking that, click OK, it will add it to one of my slots, and then once you do that, or if you've bought the kit, it'll say you own this kit, then you can use it in-game automatically. So once you've either added it to a slot or bought it, then you can use it in-game automatically at that point, which is really awesome. So I've added it to a slot, and if I click on premium slots, it'll show it killer kit. And so now this is a kit that I can use in game. So if I go into the game and I type slash kit space killer, I will now be able to use this kit, which is pretty awesome. So everybody, that is basically how you can design a kit. That's pretty much it on how you can design a kit that can be used in Maze Runner and you've got all of these awesome attributes that you can go through and use literally tons of attributes that you can go in to design a kit to do whatever you want it to do and just very very awesome just an overall really cool feature that I really like especially how you know you can drag things around and design a kit on this page that you can then use in the game it's just really really cool so I will link to this page in the description so you can design your own kits and be sure to link to me your coolest kit configurations that you guys like to play with the most in the comments section because we're going to do a thing where we will showcase kits that people have designed like you guys that you guys have designed anyway be sure to check out maze runner at mc-maze.com or connect to the hub at mcpvp.com that's all everybody see you next time